Would you love to manage your team remotely with ease? Then you need my five steps. More and more managers are struggling in the hybrid working environment. Thrown in the deep end and with no extra training. To all the managers, new or experienced out there, it's not your fault. So who the hell am I? My name is Ralph Moody and I've been training managers for the past 25 years. Whether new or experienced, I've trained a lot. I've been a manager and a director myself. I know what I'm talking about. I train all levels of managers, whether it's newly appointed or someone with 10 years under their belt. I've had years of experience and also plenty of stories to tell. I've spent an enormous amount of time teaching managers superb management skills. How many of you have had a really poor manager? Yes, we all have. Um, why is this? Well, the reality of it is managers get promoted into management positions because they're good at their job, not necessarily because they're good managers. I'm here to show you some amazing management skills. So what are my five steps, I hear you ask? Well, step one, what does a hybrid manager mean? And how should this actually work? We don't actually know. We just interpret this on our own minds. Seriously, this needs to be sorted. It's the foundation of the future of blended working and it's here to stay. I go into this much more in my free training. Just imagine how this will help you as a manager. This is the beginning of change for you in the modern world. Then step two, which is where we have to look at ourselves and think, why are we a manager in the first place? What's our job? How do we motivate? And how does this affect our staff? Such powerful reflection to be done here to create positive change. Motivation has long been talked about. I look at the most updated research on motivation and habits in my free training. Then I move into step three, such a fascinating step, looking at relationships in every organization and the problems that our personalities can bring. The hybrid environment increases dysfunctionality. I will show you much more about this in my free training. Incredibly powerful and essential knowledge for any manager. Then step four, which is a very serious area, which we should all look about how we look after other people. The word well-being is used as a label everywhere. But what does that mean for you as a manager? It's a massively important area. You may not feel that well-being, particularly your well-being, is in a good place at the moment. If so, you can attend my free training which will help you significantly with the term well-being. Finally, step five. How much work do you do as a manager compared to your staff? What's this all about? Have you actually reflected on this? And are you being honest with yourself? Delegation is important, and I'm going to show you how to deal with how to do this in my free training workshop. Years ago, I had the worst manager I'd ever had, and I had to take control. And I made that ambition and that decision to teach people correctly the traits of not only a good manager, but how to be a fantastic manager. And I've got practice in dealing with brilliant results. So I've created my five steps to teach hybrid or remote managers correctly. This is so needed in this new way of working and this is clearly here to stay. Managers need help and they need to know exactly how to deal with this change. So click on the link below to register and check out my free workshop. You'll be pleased that you did. You will not only learn how to be an effective manager in so amazing, so many amazing ways, you're going to learn the real skills to be the greatest manager you desire to be. So don't wait, click on that link below to register your free place and check it out. Think about it. How much longer can you manage this new way of working hiding behind the mask? Many people do. Don't hide behind your mask, don't bury your head in the sand. We need to know the skills. I know 
If you don't have the right tools or thoughts, you're going to stay exactly where you are. That awful feeling of not feeling good enough and feeling stressed, burying your head in the sand and not feeling in control. So it's up to you. You can carry on like you are. If, if your instinct is telling you it's time to get going with something different, then this is the time to act. So click on the link below. Register for your free place and let me help you.